Hello, everybody, and welcome back. Ah, uh, it's a new session, so we might have forgotten stuff. The murder was planned, Absolutely. the rubber gloves prove it. Let's, uh... Right, this was the evidence thing, and we, uh... I was like, oh yeah, she had a... We just showed, was like, oh yeah, she had a knife when... Got the scene, like, when you took the, uh, photo. I was like, no, uh... that was wrong. We need to prove that it wasn't premeditated with the gloves. Somehow. I, uh. Hmm. See, what else did she say? Okay. Somehow I knew, always knew a day like this would come. I was on my delay to deliver a lunchbox to my boyfriend. When I sensed something, perhaps it was my finely honed detective's intuition at work. Through the wire fence, I saw the chief prosecutor standing next to a garish car. The murder was planned. The rubber gloves proved. Because, yeah, we called her out on that, and then she changed her testimony. So... Yeah, she's saying that how she had a knife, and just... That doesn't prove anything. The photo doesn't show anything. Yeah, I can press her on it. What if she was just in the habit of wearing gloves? Like, driving gloves? The gloves were admitted as, the gloves evidence, were admitted when... as oh. evidence when the defendant was arrested. Sorry, I'm all out of my fucking mojo here. The rubber gloves are the kind used for autopsies. I believe you were in the... Right. In other words, when the chief prosecutor came to the crime scene, she came to do murder. It's the only possible conclusion one can make. I don't know if that was the exact voice I gave her. <clears throat> Everything was planned. It was a premeditated crime. Arg. Impressive. I'm sorry I took you off the force, Miss Star. This is bad. She's got them thinking this was all planned. If I can prove this claim, if she can prove this claim, the trial's already over. I've got to think of a way to show that it wasn't premeditated. It's okay. Yeah, oh, yeah, we already we already read this. Skip, skip, skip. Okay. It's premeditated. What about the call? She was premeditated, why would she... No. Dun 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 Okay. Clearly premeditated mur uh, his ID, King of Prosecutors, the knife, hmm. the parking stub, work of art, one knife wound, died within an hour. Well, He's right, we were, we, were, we were trying to prove, like, because we had the idea that if he was stabbed then, he wouldn't have, he had to have been stabbed way beforehand. Because if he took an hour to die, then this just isn't stacking up, you know? Mm -hmm. Ah, fuck, wrong button. Uh... Rubber gloves prove it. Let's see. Mm. Parking floor plans. That's not gonna help us. She's on the other side of the thing. Cell phone. Wait, look at the photo again. There's no need to push this again. What's wrong? Look what I did in your mind. Nothing. <clears throat> hmm. Do, 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 do. We don't have a reason to bring that up. I'm trying to think. Do you know what this is? Are you trying to chest test me? I sell lunch boxes for a living, you know. That's a knife. The knife. The knife that was in Mr. Edgeworth's trunk. Indeed, it is my knife. <clears throat> What's in this case? The bloody murder weapon, a red car, 
all belonging to the prosecutor there? The defendant is the chief prosecutor for the district, right? Mommy, are the prosecutors bad people? The defense has a request. We ask that the witness provide an accurate testimony. What's that, rookie? In your testimony, you stated that Lana Sky planned this murder. And that's why she was wearing those special gloves. Oh, that explains it, why she didn't bring a knife with her. That makes yeah. sense. Seems like a natural conclusion to me. The gloves do indicate planning. However, why would she not also prepare the most important thing? The murder weapon! Oh! This knife just happened to be in the trunk of that car. Ladies and gentlemen, if you're going to plan a murder, you don't forget the weapon! Uh, whoa! She just dropped lunches onto the counter. <laughs> order! 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 Great! Now the tide is turning in our favor! Great show, Mr. Wright! My sister's as good as free! <laughs> right. I believe the next lunch she'll be eating is humble pie. I haven't tried that flavor yet, Edgeworth. Why don't you suck a butt until then? W what? I hope you weren't deluding yourself into thinking that the tide has turned. Uh, no! Not over such a trifling detail. I, I wasn't at all. Sh shut up, you're stupid. But, but this shoots a hole in the whole premeditated theory. Bah. The prosecution could care less if it was premeditated or not. The only one who seems to care is that lunch lady over there. <sighs> the defendant, Lana Sky, murdered a detective with a knife. Mm. And the only thing that the prosecution need prove, nothing else. Very good, Mr. Prosecutor. I suppose you think you're clever now. But you know as well as I do that she planned on killing him! It was planned! <sighs> If it wasn't, why would she have been wearing... I believe I'd like to hear your testimony again. Witness, please tell us only what you saw, not what you thought. How dare you! My powers of deduction are not to be underestimated! Really now? Angel's deduction! Mama Sky intended to murder Detective Goodman! Ah, that's why she called the victim all the way to the prosecutor's office. I'm sure the chief prosecutor had a grudge against the victim. Nothing else could drive that Hiltman machine to plunge the knife in again and again. Again and again, it was only one knife wound. Mm -hmm. and the victim was summoned from the police department to the prosecutor's office. It does sound a lot like premeditation, doesn't it? So if I ordered pizza, does that mean I'm planning to kill a delivery boy? <laughs> In any case, the defense may now cross-examine the witness. Oh, I already know what to do. It's like you said. Stabbed again and again. Only one stab wound, thank you. That's why she called. I'm sure the chief had... Huh? Nothing else could drive again and again. Objection! One stab wound, please! You say, uh, you say she stabbed him again and again. But you couldn't have witnessed that. Are you testing me? Then I'll test you! With my moss surprise! I'm afraid the moss is growing under our feet as we wait, Miss Star. Oh! <laughs> look, what do you mean? I shouldn't have to explain this, but take a look. The autopsy report states that the death was due to a loss of blood from one stab wound. Aha! You're right! Good show, Mr. Edward. Hey, wait a minute! And what a hunk. He's my hero, really. Hey! I I did it! What about my objection? No one noticed? <laughs> well, witness. <laughs> you got the crime scene set, right? Uh, oh, thanks. Stop eating your lunches! <laughs> I always believed that no one could ever mistake ketchup for blood. But now I realize that such mistakes are possible. So, you're saying you mistook something for blood? When she lifted her knife, I thought I saw blood in her breast. Splattered blood from her victim. That's why I thought she must have stabbed him at least twice. Then tell us what you saw that you thought was blood. Testify! Testify, sister! 
Her red muffler looked like blood to me. That's how gassy the whole scene was. She's not wearing a red muffler. And if it was red, it would have blended in. Wouldn't it? You're uh, a fucking look at her. liar. Yeah, look, she's not wearing a muffler. Yeah, we can just bring this up. God, poking more holes in your theory than fucking Swiss cheese. Miss Star, I demand an explanation. <laughs> the witness is clearly not suited for detective work. What? The suspect was not wearing a scarf or muffler of any kind when she stabbed the victim. And you proved it yourself with this photograph. <laughs> huh? But, but, but that... that can't be! Only a professional lunch lady could be so utterly crude. Congratulations. I don't enjoy soup. Damn it! <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations. Perhaps you finally found your true calling in life. Hmm. Harsh words, but good. Stop eating! <laughs> in the end, Mr. Edgeworth prevails. What was my... What was my objection? Chopped liver? But, but it was there. A scarf. No, not that, but something red. Really? Well, now, where were we? The witness has given us an entertaining interlude, but back to business. What? Very well, witness. Continue your testimony. We saw the crime and apprehended the suspect. Tell us about that. Hmm. Very well. I do remember some things accurately, at least. Ultimately, we couldn't shake the most important part of her testimony. The most important part? The part where your sister stabs the victim. This next testimony ju might just be the moment of truth. I mean, we've caught her lying at least three times. How many times do you need to get caught lying in a testimony before they fucking throw you out? Well, you see, if it's not important to the case... Yeah. After the murder, the suspect attempted to run behind a partition off to her side. I quickly caught her. How did you get her? I quickly caught her, explained rights to her, and arrested her on the spot. Ah, uh, yes, when I arrested her, she mentioned the muffler. That's what had me confused in my earlier testimony. The chief prosecutor made to escape, but against Angel Star, resistance is futile. No, you're fucking lying because there was a gate separating you. You are quite determined about this scarf, aren't you? I strike like a snake and bite like a cobra. That's me, Angel Star. That wasn't a very good metaphor. First of all, cobra is a kind of snake. Don't bother me with details unless you want to get bitten! No thanks. Note to self, Mr. Wright is weak against poisonous snake bites. Shut the fuck up! <laughs> the chief prosecutor tried to resist, but her efforts were in vain. She knocked my hands aside, kicked over an oil drum. Those aren't oil drums. An oil drum? Hard to imagine. Oh, she's beautiful, but deadly! A predator, this one! A leopard woman! Rawr! Very well, Mr. Wright. Your cross-examination, if you will. Oh, I'm gonna tear your fucking testimony to shreds, bitch. How did you get That's past the gate? <clears throat> so, where was this partition on the floor plans? I'm sure... oh. I'm sure she means this wall next to the car. <laughs> That's right. There was a wall there, about six feet high. She was obviously trying to hide herself. Quite a natural thing for a criminal to do. And what did you do then? Hold on. Like, seriously. I no one's caught her. How did you catch her? Quickly caught her. Yeah, here we go. You say quickly. Were you close to the suspect? As I just said, I was only 30 feet away from her the whole time. Hmm. Maybe I should press her for more details? Yeah, press her. I'd like to see this on the floor plans, just to be safe. Because she said she was over in parking lot B. The Lunchland car was... She was a visitor, thus she was parked in she B She was block. a visitor, thus she was parked oh. in Sorry. B block. So, you witnessed the murder from here? Judge. Not only make it about 30 feet from the car, yes. Is that correct, Miss Star? Yes, that's right. But there was a chain... Oh. But there was a chain link fence in front of you. I've been over it, of course. Amazing! The cough of Queen, lunch lady, athlete, indeed. 
It would have taken a little time to climb over the fence. But she couldn't have gotten to my sister that fast. Yeah, that fence was about nine feet high, too. So how did Miss Sky not get away? So we're not gonna fucking... Okay, maybe we'll come back to that. When I rested her, she mentioned the muffler. She mentioned the muffler? What exactly did she say? If I remembered exactly, I would have told you in my testimony. Cheeky. Cheeky. <laughs> anyway, Goddamn. all I heard her say was the word muffler. Just that one word. So what you heard wasn't the suspect talking to you, but to someone else? Yes, the chief prosecutor was talking on her phone. Her phone? She wasn't. She can't mean... That's further. By phone, do you mean this cell phone discovered at the crime scene? Yes, ultimately. Ultimately? My memory... It's like a salmon, heading upstream, you see. No, the court doesn't see Miss Star. The chief prosecutor first attempted to use the phone hanging on the wall. On the wall? That's right. Next, near the car, there was an emergency phone on the wall. Apparently it was out of order. And so she used her cell phone. Indeed, the emergency phone was out of order that day. Hmm. Good witnessing, witness. Good witnessing? Whatever happened to good testifying? You should of course add this to your testimony. The things I do to please this rookie defense attorney. Mm-hmm. The word muffler was overheard. She placed something in the muffler. Of the red car. Shit, you're right. She tried the phone on the wall and had to use her cell instead. Um, do you think you could restate your testimony for the court? Aha! Uh -huh. I was going to ask the same thing. I want to say this one more time, so listen close, Suki. Is it the same thing? Hmm. The chief prosecutor stabbed the victim and ran behind the partition. Then she picked up the emergency phone on the wall, but it was out of order. So she pulled her own cell phone out of her pocket. And during that time- Oh. And during that time you climbed over the chain link fence. Come here, baby. That's my little Luna. Then, when I boldly grabbed her arm, the chief prosecutor hung up her phone. And you saw her doing this? Uh, it was it, Mr. Wright? She made to escape. Can you be more specific? She pressed aside my hand and ran. It was a terrible sight to see, like a dollop of lard on a pate of foie gras. Foie gras. Oh. Wow, did I say it wrong? Yeah, it's foie gras, not foie gras. <clears throat> oh. She even kicked over an oil drum at me. A an oil drum? There was an oil drum lying on its side at the scene of the crime. But it's strange. Hmm. What's that? If she wanted to escape, why didn't she run the other way? The other... Ah! The parking lot entrance. That's right! She doesn't make... That doesn't make any sense. She would run from behind the partition to the old drums. Excellent. More mysteries. I wish we could solve a few before finding more, though. So Miss Sky tried to run? I'm sorry my sister is so suspicious, Mr. Wright. Not as sorry as I am. But she didn't do it. You have to believe me. Hmm. Explain to rights, rest her on the spot. Mention the muffler. Saw it all, tried to phone. Uh, should we bring up the phone? Because it only... The call's only for a couple seconds, wasn't it? I gotta blow my nose. Okay. No, but... Try to do 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 Yeah, we can try the uh, the phone. Yeah, because... Nope, music didn't change. Nope, didn't work. 
Ah, well, that's all the time we have for today. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you later. Adios. Woohoo!